Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I'm gonna do a ham for you. I'm super excited about this. You're gonna love the glaze. And I've already done the recipe for you on the jelly that I'm gonna use. So I will link a video somewhere up here for my habanero apricot jelly. It is delicious. And if you glaze your ham with this, you'll never want ham any other way. But what I'm doing first to get it ready is I've got my oven preheated at 325 degrees. I've got a foil pan here I'm gonna to use to roast it in because so I don't wanna to have to clean up sticky. And I've got a, a little um, six ounce can of pineapple juice. That's going down in the bottom and that will kind of steam it as well because we're gonna cook this covered to begin with. But what I've gotta do first is I've gotta do a rub on the outside. So in this bowl is a tablespoon and a half of each. Smoked paprika, my Cajun seasoning blend, and um, you could use any Cajun seasoning you like or leave that out. And then I've also got a cedar plank seasoning that I really like. It'll add that smoky flavor because it's 16 degrees outside. I am not going out to use the smoker today. I, I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> so we're gonna use the oven, which most of us have. So this is a really nice red color. And I've got a, a deli spicy brown mustard that I'm gonna use as a vehicle. Now I've already scored this ham, so I've cross hatched. It doesn't have very much fat on it, but we want the fat to melt down in. So you just cross hatched with a sharp knife, um, maybe a quarter of an inch or less. And I'm gonna just get enough of this mustard on here to hold my dry rub. It doesn't have to be thick or anything. And if you like these kind of videos, leave me a comment in the comment section. Go down and check out all the links that I've left for you because it's almost Christmas, guys, and those Amazon links have incredible deals right now. And then go check out my Facebook page and join in on that conversation. If you make a ham that you really love and you've got your favorite glaze, go share it with us. Let everybody else in on it. Or send me a video clip or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up and put it in my pan. Cause it's gonna get messy. <clears throat> Move my cutting board out of the way and scoot everything over here. Oh, goodness. And then you just sprinkle it. And again, it doesn't have to be on there super thick. It's just to add a little element of extra flavor to this and color. And I know it's not a traditional rub for a ham, but that's what makes this one special. And my plan was to double smoke it on the big green egg, but like I said, it's so cold outside. I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna cover this really tight with foil and it's gonna be in that 325 degree oven for a couple of hours. And then the last hour, I'm gonna go ahead and start glazing it every 15 minutes with a hotter temperature and the foil off. So all that foil is gonna do is steam this, because it's pre-cooked, you just have to bring it up to temperature, just a warm temperature, and you're good to go. Anything past 130, 140 degrees. Yep. So for the glazed portion of this, I'm gonna use a 12 ounce jar of my habanero apricot. And this is so delicious, and it's uh, unbelievable on ham. It's got the sweet and the spicy and everything I love, so I know that you'll like it. And uh, let's get this ham in the oven. All I'm gonna do is melt this down in a saucepan. If I need a little water, I could add that or a little bit more of the pineapple juice. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we just pulled this ham out of the oven. Look at it, oh, it smells fantastic. I can smell that smoked paprika first off. And I've got my apricot jelly. I didn't add any water or juice to it. I just heated it up on the stove. Put it in a pan and we're gonna go ahead and pour that and start glazing this ham because we want it to kind of caramelize on top of this. There's plenty of juices in the bottom. And if we need more jelly, I've got more jelly. So I want to glaze this now for the next uh, hour, every 15 minutes, and let this caramelize on top of this beautiful ham. And then, and I'm turning the temperature up now to 400. So we're gonna now turn this up to 400 and start. And 
I'll be back in 15 minutes, three times more, and then we're gonna let it rest, and I'll bring you back when we're carving it up. It's gonna be delicious, it smells fantastic. This ham has such an impressive presentation for the table. Okay, and we're having this with some um, black truffle, scalloped potatoes, and a broccoli bake that is delicious. If you guys would like to see either one of those recipes, please leave a comment below, and I will certainly share that with you because it's the holidays. So here we have my bite right here. Ah, doesn't that look delicious? Mm mm mm. Mmm. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. It's moist, it's tender, so tender. This was a pre-cooked ham, but it's moist and tender and it hasn't lost any of the wow factor at all. In fact, the homemade jam jelly added to this for sure. All right guys, so I hope if this inspires you to make your own delicious caramelized fantastic ham that is always on sale over the holidays go ahead and give me a thumbs up share it on your Facebook page and let me know if you try this and let me know if you try my jam recipe because it came out fantastic glazed on this ham so I can't Don't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe or how-to or critter update on Monday Thursday or Saturdays 